Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Daily Pool. Today's trinket is this beautiful jade squirrel. I have ADHD. So yes, the squirrel is the trinket for today because I don't always post these daily pools. I do them daily, but I don't always post them daily. I do what spirit leads me to do. Okay, so this is our lucky charm trinket for today is the little squirrel. So excited. Okay. In today's pool, we're going to be using the Roast Iconic deck. Special surprise, we're going to be using the Ethereal Shadow Tarot. This is a beautiful deck. I am so excited to use this deck. I will also link the creator in the video. This deck has gold gilding and is just amazing. It is just a beautiful work of art okay and also at the end we are going to be doing some bibliomancy using testaments of time the search for lost manuscripts and records by leo duell we're going to be flipping through that and seeing what this book can tell us as a rounding out of the tarot pool today Okay, and as always, we're also going to use our Nordic and Witches room. The Ethereal is the one that we're going to be using as our indicator for today. The deck is quite large, as you see, so it will make it a bit difficult to shuffle. That's okay. I have patience. We will see what happens. Oh, there's one, two, three. Nope. I wanted to see if we could get some zoomed out there. I think we're zoomed out as far as we can go. Yeah, we are. Oh, there's one that fell over here towards me. I'm going to use that one. The rest of these were too many. Okay. Let me put this up. Okay, so and over that. Let's see what we have going. Oh, there's one that fell. See, I just froze the camera again. There we go. Sorry you all didn't get to see that shuffle because the camera keeps freezing. There's this one. Oh, this one. Okay. Oh, I love to hear these stones. Yeah, it's a favorite. So, okay, here we go. The Queen of Swords. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful card. Let me get that into focus for you. Look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? So the Queen of Swords. Now, if we think about the Queen of Swords in the Crowley deck, she's the one sitting high in a clouded throne with a sword raised up with a man's head in the other arm, correct? Right. So this is a woman of swift and severe intellect, and she is not playing. She is heir of earth. She commands the intellectual communications on the feminine wave. Okay. Now let's Let's see, get you more in focus down here. And then on the Roast Iconic, what do we have? Self-care, that is beautiful. 
that is beautiful. We need to mind our thought and our thinking and the way we communicate with others at this time. Be very careful to protect your energy and your strength. Okay, and so the Nordic rune is Tiwaz. Can you, let's see, let's get that focus. There we go. So we have Tiwaz. That is the masculine energy that's helping to bring back some balance masculine this is the war rune this is the war rune are you warring with someone are you warring with yourself is your own thought being used against you is your words being used against you we really need to think about all this okay and then with the goddess rune we have the star the star is going after you want and figuring out your life's purpose finding inspiration how do we execute and how do we express efficiently our thoughts and our communications so during this 8-8 Lionsgate portal let's really think about how we communicate on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's really think about how we communicate on a day-to-day -day basis. So with the Testaments of Time, let's see how we can round this up with this Queen of Swords and self-care, this masculine warring energy that's coming along here. Let's see what this spirit has to show us. Kenyon was able to show by comparative analysis that the neutral text had not come down directly and with little correction from the autographs, but rather was a text scientifically constructed from good materials. Several readings of the Chester Beatty at variance with the neutral are worthy of consideration. Okay. So what this, I believe, is saying, and it, sh and it even gives us a diagram. It's gorgeous. It's all about communication. Do you see this diagram? So, so this diagram is showing up here papyrus rolls of, let me see. I can't read upside down. Papyrus rolls of separate books, first and second century. And then it goes to Papyrus Codex of groups of books, second and third century, and then the formation of local types of text. And it goes into Western, uh, Caesarean, Alexandrian, Syrian, and other. And then it goes into Vellum Codex, fourth century inversions. And then it goes on down to the Byzantine. So anyway, I just wanted to be able to show you all this beautiful, beautiful diagram. Have a great day.